everyone, Mike with Global Voodoo here, just giving a quick update to my six buck challenge. First off, I want to thank everybody that has um, participated in the six dollar challenge. Uh, it's been really fun for me to watch a lot of the videos, keep them up. Uh, I also encourage you, if you haven't made a video yet, make one out there. It's really simple. But let's uh, let's see my finds here and what, what we got going on. My last video, I did sell the two t-shirts. I sold the Mighty Ducks t-shirt and the Iron Maiden shirt. I, I sold them both um, separately on eBay auction listing for seven day listing they went for eight dollars and eighty eight cents with free shipping which was really cheap I uh, should have actually done with a buy it now or best offer on it but uh, decided just to go the auction route and, and every time I do the auctions it's I just never win with t-shirts or clothing it's unless it's something super duper rare but uh, after shipping and the eBay fees the PayPal fees the whole nine yards I profited nine dollars and fifty six cents of that nine dollars and fifty six cents what I'm doing is I took out twenty percent I'm taking out twenty percent immediately and that's actually going to be my savings fund for this so basically what I had is a uh, dollar ninety one which was my savings and then um, minus the dollar ninety one from the nine dollars fifty six cents I came up with seven dollars and sixty five cents and uh, what I did then is basically I just I just knocked off the um, fifteen cents uh, just to make it an even seven dollars and fifty cents of two dollars and five cents that is in my savings fund I've got a little jar here and this is where I put my money So that leads me to the next part of the video. I have a total profit of seven dollars and fifty cents, and I also still have um, one item out there, one T-shirt from my original six dollars. So I already got my money back on this. Made a little bit of money, nothing huge here. But what I did now is I, I went out and I bought um, some items with the seven dollars and fifty cents, and I'll show you guys that here now. All right, so these are the, the items I purchased with my seven dollars and fifty cents. I purchased a Sony Walkman, a vintage Walkman cassette, FM AM stereo. I paid exactly, I paid 50 cents for that. It also came with the headphones. And the next item I did buy, I bought six records. I got all of these records for uh, a quarter apiece. I got the Grateful Dead Working Man's Dead LP record. I also got Leonard Skinner's First and Last. This is Led Zeppelin in through the outdoor LP record. Uh, also got Grateful Dead uh, Terrapin Station LP. This is really cool. This is this is a score here, I believe. Uh, Rush Hemispheres Pitcher Disc, the original here. Um, and this one was really neat. I always love. I always pick this up when I come across it. This is Leonard Skinner's Street Survivors LP record that was limited. There, it's got the fire in the background. They they pulled it off uh, the shelves after um, uh, the, the accident there. I paid, uh, let's see, a total of a uh, dollar fifty for all of these LP records, and what I'll be doing is I'll be selling these between Amazon and eBay. Um, when, when, you know, when I sell with eBay, basically that money will go right immediately because I get it through PayPal. Um, the Amazon stuff, I will have to wait some time for that, uh, typically two weeks, uh, to get my money on that, and I'll update the the channel as we go. Um, the next thing I got was this was pretty cool. In um, I paid what did I pay for this? I paid fifty cents for this. They marked it for one dollar. Um, it is a, uh, a board game like Dungeons and Dragons called Dragon Strike. Uh, it's complete. It's got everything in here. Uh, it, it looks like maybe somebody opened it up and was just messing with it, but they actually never played the game. So I will sell that. Also got a Chicago Bears vintage snapback hat. I paid fifty cents for this. It's kind of cool. It's got a uh, embroidered front to, to it. Um, it's got the number ninety nine on the Bears jersey with a bear running with the football. So uh, I'll put in something like Dan Hampton or something of that nature because that's Dan Hampton's number when you play with the Chicago Bears. Uh, also got these two Pendleton. One is a pearl snap <clears throat> vintage shirt from the seventies, uh, probably early seventies I would say, just by the tag on it. Uh, also this wicked, super cool. Pendleton wool 
sweater. It's very nice. It's, it's actually pretty. It's, it's my size too, and but uh, it, it's it's slick. It's got that retro look to it. That nice brown, the, and the, the autumn colors with the orange and the red and the yellow. So I picked up both of those. I paid a dollar a piece. Um, I also picked up about a bunch more of those, but uh, this was just for my six dollar challenge. I I actually scored pretty good on the the garage sale there. There was a, a lady there who had a ton of that stuff, and and I bought it all. But I decided to use my two dollars for that to buy the, the Pendletons. So I'll, I'll probably throw those on eBay. Uh, also, the final thing here is, and I got I bundled all these together. I got one, two, three, four, five, five items here. I paid a total of two dollars for these. Uh, this one item here is a Family Feud DVD TV game, second edition. It's brand new. It's sealed. This next one is It Might Get Loud. Uh, it's got uh, The Edge, Jimmy Page, and Jack White DVD. This is used. Uh, the next item here is a Star Trek Klingon Fan Collective box set DVD. This was, uh, it's got a four, it's four disc set. And more than likely I'll be selling all these on Amazon because they, they, for me, media with DVDs and you know video games and stuff like that, it sells a lot quicker on Amazon and I get more money for it. Um, here's the next one here. It's a Nickelodeon Avatar The Last Airbender, the complete book two collection uh, DVD set. So we'll see how that goes. And this one's really cool here. This um, I like to get any type of uh, software when I can find it, whether it's, um, I, I try to go for anything Adobe, uh, whether it's Photoshop, Premiere Pro, you know, the, the basics there. This one's a little bit of an older uh, set here. This is the Adobe Photoshop Elements and uh, 5.0 and the Premiere Elements 3.0. And it also came with the um, user guide for the Photoshop elements and looking on Amazon uh, I, I could sell these individually so um, I, I think it did pretty well with that but uh, these were my finds and uh, we're going to update my video once I actually get some sales from this here but uh, as you can see I, I took the six dollars I originally had and uh, sold two items I was able to put you know this two dollars and five cents in my savings jar here which hopefully will grow I know it'll grow um, and then pretty much I took the remainder of the profit there, $7.50, and actually bought more items. So I'll have all these items online along with my original t-shirt that's still out there, the Harley Davidson. So um, I want to thank everybody here for watching. Please like, please comment, subscribe. And I also encourage you out there to, to do a $6 challenge and, and do it for yourself. You know, to do it, do it to, to, to see how much money you can save and how much inventory you can buy. And, and, and you know, I think it'll be fun. So uh, thanks again, guys. I hope everybody has a great day. Peace.